heard you give money, how you feelin' it? I been stacking money to the ceiling, nigga. Had to cut him off, I heard he squealin' If they give me life, a nigga gonna build it Money made the world turn, money made the world turn Got my head of salt, he got them niggas catching hard burn I was in the street just hey trying to it's Kay and I'm back again with another video, of course And this video is gonna be on this gorgeous hair that I've been rocking all weekend, y'all so yeah, this was sent to me from Wild African and I'll insert clips of what the wig originally looked like and everything like that because of course I did customize this wig to my liking. And so I'm going to go ahead and include clips of just what the hair looked like in its original state and everything before I made the changes to this wig. So um, yeah, so let's just get into the other clips and then we'll talk about how I got here. But yes, this is what it looks like now. So I'm just going to insert clips of what it looked like before I dyed it and curled it and all that good stuff. So this wig was shipped DHL and I received this wig pretty quick within like maybe less than a week. Maybe like four to five days I'm going to say. I can't really remember because I had this wig for a while now but it was around that time frame. So when I received the wig, it was in a deep wave pattern and this is 100% Brazilian version hair. I do have this in the length 20 inches and this is also a lace front wig and it is in a natural color which is not nat in a natural color anymore but when I received it, it was in a natural color and the item number is FLW15. Just in case you wanted to look it up but like I said I'll leave the link in the description box just in case any of you guys are interested so that is the specs on this hair I do believe that the lace is light brown as well and the cap construction is a glueless lace cap so yeah also um, it comes with three combs in the front a comb in the back with adjustable straps in the middle. I don't really like any of the combs that's in the front of the wig, but I did remove uh, the one sitting directly in the middle on top of my head. I removed that. I feel like it gets in the way from the wig looking as flat as possible. So I did remove that. I will say that this wig is constructed very well because I had a really hard time removing the wig. Um, yeah, but that's, I mean, not the wig. I did have a really hard time removing the comb. So when I received this wig, I did go ahead and bleach my knots. I also went in and, what did I do? I also went in and plucked my hairline because I felt like it could be a little bit more natural. Even though you don't have to because it didn't look bad, but I wanted it to look as natural as possible. So I did go in and pluck my hairline. Um, the wig already comes with baby hairs, but from plucking the hairline, I had to recreate my baby hairs. Now, before I bleached this hair, I did not receive any shedding or tangling. After I bleached the hair, I did get a little, no. After I bleached the knots, I got a little bit of shedding, but it wasn't too bad. And then after I bleached the whole entire wig, I got a little bit more shedding, um, but it still wasn't bad, but it definitely did shed after bleaching this hair. Oh. Also, I forgot to mention that I did leave the bleach on for about 15 minutes. And when I say the hair turned so fast, you guys, like I was so surprised how, how fast the hair lightened. So you do not, if you plan on getting this hair and you plan on bleaching it, you do not have to leave the bleach on for forever because this hair really lightens within minutes. So I only left the bleach on for 15 minutes and then I rinsed it out and all of that good stuff. And like I said, I followed up and used my um, semi-permanent uh, hair dye by Adore. And I used the colors Magenta and I used Intense Red. I used three bottles of the Intense Red and one bottle of the Magenta. And I still have some Magenta left over. So you can see that I didn't really use a lot of Magenta. So after I did that, I rinsed out the color and I left the color on for maybe like 10 minutes. I didn't leave it on um, long at all. Maybe like 20 at the max, but it didn't feel like I left it on for a long time. So after I rinsed it, I wasn't really pleased. Like I was pleased in some spots, um, but 
I don't know it just looked crazy to me and up in like where the laces didn't really take well and it still was kind of like blowing so I found my Clara box dye and this is a permanent color and this is what it looks like so I found this and y'all I had I don't know if it has like an expiration date on it but I had this for like over a year but this is in the color blazing burgundy so I just went in and used this for the lace area where I didn't get it like up in the root part in the front of the wig. I used it up in that area and I also used it at the bottom of the wig some but mainly just in the roots and it kind of just colored the wig the same color as the um, semi-permanent dyes, the Adore dye. Um, but after I used this box color, I definitely love the way this wig turned out. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same color as the Adore uh, colors mixed together. Um, that's how I feel because you can't even tell that I use different colors. But yeah, it definitely dyed the roots and where I missed some dye at, it definitely covered all of that. So I went ahead and rinsed it out. and. They give you like this conditioner that comes with it. It's like called Panty Pro V. I think I'm saying it right. But where is it at? Because I did save it because when I washed this hair again, I wanted to use that conditioner. When I tell you that conditioner made this hair smell so good. Even when I curled this hair, it still smelled like that conditioner. And it just made the hair just feel so soft and just more healthy sorry all my legs hurt that's why I'm sitting up like this okay so then after I you know washed out the dye and everything like that I did let this wig air dry because I just wanted to see if it would um, if the curl pattern would be the same as it was before I dyed it and it actually was so it did um, it did keep its natural curl pattern which is like the deep wave type of look so then um, after I let it air dry, uh, it was still a little bit damp and I was kind of pressed for time. So I did go ahead and use my Chi um, Silk Infusion. It's like a heat protectant and I put it all over the hair and I went ahead and blow dried um, the hair straight just because I didn't feel like waiting for that long time and plus I knew that I didn't want to wear it in its natural state I just wanted to see if it was going to curl back up to how it looked originally so yeah I went ahead and I blow dried the hair uh, after I blow dried the hair I went in and just curled the hair with this and this is my Hot Tools Professional and y'all I love this thing so much um, so I did go in and curl the hair before I put it on my head. Um, this is my second time curling this hair. The first time I curled the hair, I curled it on my mannequin head, which was a lot easier for me versus curling it on my head, which I did the second time. So yeah, I went ahead and curled it with these curlers and I just took small sections, not really small, yeah, I would say like small to medium type of sections and I curled the wig I curled each section going in opposite directions because if I if I would have curled the head going all in the same direction the curls would have all formed together and I didn't want that I wanted that kind of messy type of curl look I didn't want all the curls to be uniform if you get what I'm saying so for each for each section I curled it a different type of way if you get what I'm saying I hope y'all understand what I'm saying but yeah I use these curlers right here so then after that I did go in and spray all the hair with my Aussie um, holding spray and after I did that I just went ahead and plucked out all the curls which I just finger combed them all out and this is basically the end result which I really really love this color I just love this style I love everything about this hair okay you guys so yeah, this is what it's looking like. And I will say that this wig looks so natural. I did go in and cut baby hairs back into this wig. And 
this is what it's looking like which i just really really love i have been wearing this hair in a ponytail as well and it looks really natural in a ponytail too So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely loving this hair, you guys. It looks really good. I definitely love this red, vibrant, vibrant color. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, this is from Wild African. I will leave all their links in the description box just in case any of you guys are interested in this wig. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.